Hi Gemini, I'm here to do your weekly reading. This is for Monday the 20th of May until the 27th. Um, This reading I call a snapshot just because it kind of gives you a brief insight into what's going on in your romantic life. The first card out we have the three of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio next card out we have the ten of cups more water energy next card out we have the ace of pentacles earth energy capricorn taurus virgo so it looks like some of you will be having a good week you'll be involving yourself with others emotionally then we have the page of cups and the seven of cups reversed so you guys could definitely be dealing with a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, it doesn't matter, it doesn't even have to be a water sign, but it can just be showing, I think you guys may be getting a, an emotional gesture from somebody, and I feel like at the moment it's very light hearted, you guys may be at the stages where you're going out, you're socialising, you're going out for drinks, you're going out for something to eat. You're just generally having, uh, spending your social spare time with this person. And I feel like, you know, there's... I mean, just notice we've got the Nine of Cups beneath here. So yeah, you guys are really happy. Or this water sign is really happy with you guys. Very happy. They feel like they could have some long-term emotional bond with you guys. That could be very spiritual and fulfilling. And I feel like you guys have not... um, 
you guys haven't grounded the relationships in the term that there may not have been an offer of commitment so far but this week I feel like you guys are definitely gonna get it you know someone may be narrowing down their options with the seven of cups in reverse they're no longer exploring emotional relationships with other people and I feel like yeah it's been flirty it's been light-hearted we've we've been having a really good time emotionally we're on a level so do you want to make something official do you want to go exclusive do you got do you want to commit to me and this will make somebody very happy with the nine of, with the nine of cups beneath it I feel like although it's been very light-hearted and you guys may have been meeting up when you can and getting to know each other, I feel like now somebody wants to make it a bit more serious. You know, they want to look at the future of the relationship and not just focusing on having, you know, enjoying the moment. Someone wants to, you know, lay a solid path here with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups offering that up. It's like turning your back on exploring your options or keeping your options open and deciding to kind of solidify a connection with one person. I feel like if somebody is offering you something this week in terms of an emotional commitment going exclusive taking the relationship a bit more seriously then I feel like they, they could be genuine I mean it's early days in terms of the emotional side of it but I feel like somebody's starting to look at this in a more like, can we be committed to, to each other? Can we go the distance? Can we have something real? Can we have something more than just the emotional connection? Can we make something... Sorry, Gemini, my camera cut out. So I'll just pick up where we left off. by the three of cups here king of wands so that's fire energy aries leo sagittarius so you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or this may be somebody who um, was used to keeping their options open but now somebody uh, this person i feel wants to kind of narrow down their options and offer their emotions up to one person. So with the Ten of Cups, we have the Moon and the Eight of Cups. 
so I feel somebody may have uh, left a situation could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio again or this person could have that in their chart or you could have that in, the, in your chart Gemini feel like somebody came from a place where they had some fears deep emotional fears in the past and this could have been a fear about commitment this king of wands may have had a fear of commitment due to their past experiences and I just look at the bottom of the deck and I see the three of swords in reverse so yeah they may have had a breakup that didn't go so well and they've suppressed those emotions and that may have led them to want to keep their options open and not give their heart to one person but I feel like here they actually do want to ground something They do want to offer up a real emotional commitment. And not just a superficial surface level one. But this is just the beginning of that, of that stage. So this would be somebody that you, um, you, you haven't reached that far yet with. It's still the initial stages where you're still socialising, still getting to know them. But, you know, you guys are fond of each other. There is affection there. But I feel this person wants to leave behind the fears of their past. Because they realise they really could have something very deep. Almost feeling like it's a soulmate. And they have to leave those kind of fears in the past in order to be able to consistently walk this path. So I said, for the Ace of Pentacles, who is offering this ace of pentacles and we have the eight of pentacles and the ace of wands so i feel like it's definitely the masculine energy that has been building up and it may have been um taking them a long time You know, they may have been balancing, you know, you and their job, their career, for sure. And um, it's taken them a long time to really work on their self or feel like they've worked up enough strength to, uh, you know, offer you something stable. And the ace of, um, sorry, the star came out, flew out. This is very healing energy. This is about releasing. Just like we have the eight of cups here. It's walking away letting go of the past burdens and those things that are just unfulfilling to us now okay so why is the page of cups here we've got the two of um the two of swords and I feel like this may have been at a stalemate for a while. Like no no one was making any decisions. This person was in denial of the if of their feelings and offering this emotion to you because of their part of, of their deep seated fears. This person could definitely have a, a, a moon or Venus um in a in a water place, in a water sign. You may have felt like this person was never going to make a decision. Right. 
seven of cups reversed, we have the fool. Someone's ready to let go of their options, jump into something new. They've been so used to keeping their options open and not wanting to commit, but now they're ready. And I feel like this person definitely hasn't had a committed relationship for quite a while. Now, they may have been emotionally involved with people. You know, you may have seen them flirting with people. You know, they may have had a lot of admirers. The King of Wands definitely would. This King of Wands is a very charming, um, sexual person. You know, even if they don't like you, you know, they would just be... They, they just have that kind of charisma about them that you'd wonder if they did. <laughs> you know? But this person is... is They are the dominant personality so if they don't want to commit they don't they lead where the relationship goes they may display their self externally as very confident as a leader very attractive very independent So yeah, I mean, I feel like you guys could be having quite a um, good week. Someone is releasing themselves from being a kind of bachelor and wanting to jump into being this new long-term kind of person. They're at least willing to give it a go. advice for you guys Gemini, I feel like your fear could be that this person may not be telling you the truth. Or it could be your your fears are playing out as well. So I feel like it's saying stop worrying about the past. Allow that to heal. You may not feel ready. To commit just yet. Maybe you enjoy. The relationship being. The way it is at the moment. I think it's saying just sleep on it. Think about it. Before making a decision. Make sure somebody really has worked through their past issues. And that they are releasing emotions from the past before jumping into something new so 
So let's just give a roll of the dice and see what comes up for you guys. So I have got number one. Starting something new, new beginnings, initiating a new path. It's not exactly zero, but on the dice there is no zero. So I would equate it to the full. And we also have the ace of wands here and the ace of pentacles here. So the number you've got is the ace. And you have two aces here, a page as well which is about new beginnings and the fall. So somebody is definitely, definitely being offered a new start. But in order for that to be successful and go the distance, somebody has to release either a past person or just emotions and fears about relationships in general. Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you. I hope you have a good week and I will speak to you soon. Bye.